I teach uh, computer science here at Hendricks. I'm currently the chair of the Department of Mathematics and Computer Science as well. I first learned to program a computer when I was about 10 years old. There was an old Apple II Plus in my elementary school and I think my teacher discerned that I had a bit of a knack for the thing and so I was able to spend quite a bit of time on it. Um, not too long after that, we got our first uh, family computer, um, a Commodore 64. At time on the Commodore 64, I learned every little bit of the ins and outs of the machine. As a graduate student at the University of Virginia, I was in a research group whose main focus was in computer vision. And the direction they were starting to go right when I arrived was to use vision as a means of navigating a robot through an environment. And so I started pretty much on the ground level. I uh, helped with uh, building our group's first robot, programming the control system for the camera and so forth. Um, all just a preparation for the bigger and uh, greater things that we were then able to do. I did quite a bit of teaching work as a teaching assistant. And what I found was I really enjoyed the one-on-one -on -one experience with students when I was able to deal with them in these uh, smaller recitation sections. Hendrix was appealing because it was a school where, as the professor, I would be dealing with small classes and getting to know my students one-on-one, -on -one, not just um, lecturing in a large auditorium. It was a chance to work in an environment with an emphasis on teaching. But with students of the caliber to which I had become accustomed um, at places like Rice University and the University of Virginia. When I arrived, every fall we would teach the Computer Science One course. At this point, we've got three sections, two in the fall, one in the spring, uh, appealing not only to computer science majors, but really to students from all different disciplines throughout the college. Uh, many of them enthusiastically take the course. Uh, to get an opportunity to understand just what are these computers doing that are surrounding us everywhere and how can we make them work better. It's become a really popular class. We offer about three sections a year which are always full or nearly full and they've done amazing things. We start off with a series of um, exercises to build their basic skills but about two-thirds of the way through the course we set them loose and let them build and program a robot to do whatever they can dream of and whatever they can make the hardware do, of course. And in that time, we've had students, again, with no uh, prior programming or engineering background do everything from develop robots that play the guitar or keyboards to other tasks, including uh, driving a skateboard, uh, opening a door. That was a pretty interesting jury rig. One uh, particularly ambitious team built a robotic airship, um, including hand-carved propellers that flew indoors in the atrium of our building. I'm often able to involve students in my own research projects if those interest them as part of the senior thesis process. My artificial intelligence class is, is quite popular both with computer science majors and a lot of our computer science minors as well. Um, we cover a lot of ground in that class. The major theme is to think about what is it exactly that the brain can do and to what degree can a computer be programmed to imitate that or simulate that. So Hendrix is in the process of developing a study of the mind program now. We're beginning with a minor. We may progress to a major at some point. That brings together faculty from philosophy, biology, psychology, um, and, and myself from computer science to think in an interdisciplinary way about how do you approach the mind. I think the Odyssey Special Projects category has been particularly rich for our students. I have a, a special project in progress at the moment involving a student developing um, a three-dimensional computer graphics system for uh, modeling things you can make out of plastic stackable bricks. I'm really proud of our graduates. They've done a lot of really exciting things. Um, many of them, of course, have gone straight into the workforce and have gotten good jobs. A few of our alumni wound up in Silicon Valley. 
uh, which is exciting and fun. Our graduates are creative, witty, enterprising. They've gone off in all kinds of different directions, and um, I'm really proud of them.